Welcome to WRC 19, the World Radio Communication Conference here in Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Ruth Pritchard Kelly, who is the Vice President for Regulatory Affairs for OneWeb. Ruth, welcome to the studio. Thank you so much, Max. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about OneWeb. Uh, perhaps you could tell us what OneWeb is and what its aims are. So OneWeb will be one of the new constellations of satellites, so it'll cover the entire globe instead of the more traditional satellites that focus on a single country or region. And the goal is to provide high-speed broadband connections to Internet anywhere in the world, including uh, from a plane or a ship as well as on land. Okay. And uh, you, you're here, you're attending uh, the WRC. You've, you've got to, you're at the, in the exhibition part of the, uh, of the WRC. Uh, I presume, uh, obviously, that uh, this is an important conference for you. I just really wanted to find out uh, what are the kind of conversations that you've been having here. Unquestionably. Well, the World Radio Communications Conference obviously is focused on, on radio communications and a space-based wireless um, technology like satellites uh, depends on spectrum. So it's uh, vitally important uh, that we maintain access to spectrum even while new technologies are coming along. So our kind of satellite is a brand new kind of satellite, but there are also new terrestrial technologies such as the next generation of cell phones. Um, and so we're working out how we'll provide that next generation to, to the world. Spectrum is a, is a natural resource, which with, with a finite natural resource. Absolutely. And so what are the outcomes that you hope will come from this conference? Um, absolutely. The way to share the spectrum with the new technologies is, is important. And, and this conference will, will come up with some rules and suggestions about how to study sharing, um, not only between satellites, but uh, with uh, the terrestrial wireless technologies as well. Um, and, and allocations, which are sort of defined, um, this is your spectrum and, and this is mine. Um, and that is, of course, important because investment only comes if you've got a certain um, certainty that you'll have access to that spectrum for some years to come. Are you encouraging people to, to come to your, uh, your stand here at the exhibition space? How's that been going? We're bribing them with free coffee. Absolutely, we're encouraging them to come. There's a lot of interest um, as people become aware of these new uh, non-geostationary satellites as opposed to the traditional geostationaries um, and what they can do. And, and there are three or four systems being proposed. Um, they're all a little different in, in technology, uh, but the end goal is the same, and that is to connect everyone everywhere, no matter how remote. Okay, so for those uninitiated, the difference between geostationary satellites and non-geostationary satellites? Uh, at the basic level, the geostationary ones uh, orbit the Earth at the same speed that it turns, so they appear stationary. One antenna can point at that satellite and not be moved. Um, the new ones that are much closer to the Earth, so there's no delay when you talk on the phone. You don't time out if you, if you check, say, your bank account on the Internet. Um, because they're so close, um, they can't quite orbit at the same speed. You need many hundreds or even thousands of them. Um, and so your antennas are a little different. Um, and uh, so they have a different set of rules um, for, for how to uh, coordinate with each other. How has satellite technology uh, uh, dropped in terms of uh, costs and costs for end users and, and costs for, for, for the, uh, uh, the providers as well? It's incredible. So the new generation of satellites are being mass produced on assembly lines. Um, in years past, it's taken up to a year to, to build a single satellite by hand. Now we're building a satellite a day in a factory in Florida, and we're launching all 30 every month. Um, and because the cost to manufacture has come down, um, that's easily passed on. So now satellite will be truly competitive instead of um, everyone has always assumed, oh, satellite, it's so rarefied, it's expensive. Not at all the case with these new, new constellations. Okay, finally, we've got a message here for participants at WRC 19. The message to participants is, first of all, participate. Thank you to the countries of the world for participating. And secondly, to remember that no one technology is going to do everything. So don't focus only on the terrestrial delivery for your mobile phones. Remember, they need to backhaul via our satellites. Richard Kelly, thank you very much indeed. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.